Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ethan Bernard. In today's video, we're going to be experiencing the Colossus Javelin for the very first time. Last weekend, I had my friend Dan over here to record all the Colossus footage I needed for some of the videos that I'm working on. However, I never got the chance to play the Javelin myself. So we're going to hop into some free play. I equipped a straight up Colossus build on him. We got explosive mortar a flamethrower, a heavy auto cannon, and a grenade launcher. I've never played this character before, and we're going to hop in, and I'm kind of going to kind of give you guys my first impressions of how this character feels, because you guys know me. Normally, I am an interceptor main, and this is pretty much the complete opposite of said character. So let's just hop right into it. Oh, shit. This guy's big boy. All righty. So this is what Colossus feels like. What's his da Does he have a dash? Oh, he does. Okay. I was unaware that the shield replaced the dash. I would have kind of assumed that was an ability, but that's actually pretty cool. What's his melee then? What? Holy shit. Wait, what's the... If you jump up... All right. Is that the same size? So he makes the same ground pound regardless of whether you jump or not. That's pretty cool. Wait, what do we got here? All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see how... Can you still quick boost with this guy? Yep, you can still quick boost with him. So it's like... You know, I thought Colossus was going to be a lot, like, a lot heavier and sluggish feeling, but honestly... It doesn't seem to move that much slower when it comes to like sprint speed and flight speed might be a little little bit less and you don't have the dodges and stuff but I was expecting this to feel like horrible to me but I I honestly don't hate it and if you pull out the shield you can kind of rush in there without taking the risk oh that's that's the wrong way all right let's take a look at the map here see we just we'll just head straightforward I guess we got some teammates over here doing something hopefully we can get into an event or something and try to show off what this character can do because currently we're using the flamethrower we have a high explosive mortar we have an auto cannon and a grenade launcher so we've got full-on Colossus build here you know his double jump goes decent distance guys like and then you can launch from that so that's not horrible but I'm going to cut to wherever we can actually find some enemies here and try to get into some combat. All right. It looks like we did end up finding an event here. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's the ruin. All right. Sweet. Oh, good Lord. Collecting echoes as a colossus. Oh, God. Definitely isn't as... uh. All right, where are the rest of them? Oh, I'm overheated. Cool. All right, where's the rest of these? This definitely isn't as efficient as collecting them with the Interceptor, I'll say that. There we go. All righty. I guess we're going to head into this ruin with good old Colossus here and see what we can end up doing. Alright, let's see if we have any enemies waiting in here. There should be like an Ash Titan or something, if I remember right. We'll see. Oh, shit. Look who we've got here. That's a titan. That, that is a titan. Oh, hell yeah. All right, let's start off here. Let's see how much damage this guy's ult can do. Shoot his back! Well, that didn't work. Oh, my God. That's a lot. Almost 3,000 damage. Oh, oh, get down, get down. All right, explosive mortar time. Let's see what we can do. Decent amount. Flamethrower isn't doing a whole lot. Oh, he's an Ash Titan. Duh. Sorry, guys. I'm out of it today. All right. Let's pull out this grenade launcher. 
damn. He's dead already. All right. So, yeah, I guess they weren't kidding when they said that Titan does. I'm sorry. I guess they weren't kidding when they said that Colossus does a lot of damage. All right. Looks like we found some enemies here. Finally, you know. Boom. You're dead. Let's see. Oh, my God. It's hard to aim this. It's hard to aim that thing. All right. And we got some more over here. Just let them have it. Jump in for the melee here. It has a decent range on it. Let's pull out the auto cannon. Melt them down. Oh my god, that is definitely satisfying. Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna pull out the mortar here. Boop. Damn, let's go. So this is very good javelin for crowd control overall. This is just nuts. And the, t the spread that the auto cannon can go to is pretty good too. I didn't expect it. Let's pull out the flamethrower on this guy. See what damage procs we're getting. That's not bad. 60, 70 to 90 damage. That is not bad at all. Let's pull out the mortar again. Get this guy out of here. It almost one shots the shielded targets. I just don't know what the hell just happened. There we go. You're done. Let's uh try to get this guy out of here. Maybe one of those will hit him eventually. Who knows? All right, there we go. He's out. All right, let's do another mortar here just to kind of get these guys away. There we go. Wait, if a direct hit... Wait, they just... Hello? All right, Bioware, I see you. Not wanting me to play with this character. Okay. Well, I think... You know what? I think that's about it. We're going to try to find one more encounter here. I'll cut to it. And then we're going to call it. Because I have a lot of videos to get done for you guys this week. Here we go. We got found some scars. Come on. What you doing here? So if you direct impact with the grenade launcher, it does a hefty amount of damage. I am a big fan of that. So let's see what other enemies we've got waiting for us out here. You can one-shot all these guys just by hitting them with the direct impact of the grenade launcher. I'm a big fan of that mechanic. Adds kind of an extra in-depth, extra depth to the combat. Given I suck at landing these direct hits... But I still like that mechanic. All right, we got it. All right, we're pulling out the mortar here. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Come on now. Anyone else? All right, how long does this flamethrower reach? Apparently not long enough to kill this guy. Whatever. Let's pull out the auto cannon. Let's get these little guys out of the way. Do a double jump up here. Oh, this guy. See how many shots it takes to get to the center of a Scar Enforcer. One. All right, that would be two shots, and you're dead. Sorry, bud. All right. Just going to pull out the auto cannon on this guy. The auto cannon does insane damage once you get that spread tightened up a little bit. And then let's fl use a little flamethrower on this bitch. Yeah, get out of my face. All righty. Let's see if a mortar can kill a brute. And then we're going to end the video from there. Let's see what we can do. All right. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, what you running for, buddy? Come on. Come on. All right. Not bad. You know, overall, Colossus seems very, very good for dealing high amounts of damage to groups of targets taking out important targets with his different ultimate and the mortar and stuff like that. Oh, are you shitting me? You know what? I don't think we're going to deal with this guy. I don't think... Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if we can take this guy out alone, guys. I think we might... Oh, righty. We're going to take a chill pill here for a second. Okay, I wasn't really prepared for this here. I was trying... Oh, my God. I was trying to end the video. And Bioware decides to send this guy my way. 
It's not fair, guys. I've got shit to work on. He's an angry guy. I'll give him that. Okay. It's going to take me forever to kill this guy. He's almost half dead. You know, we'll, screw it. We'll just kill him. I can't do an outro in this. This is too hectic to even get the mindset to do an outro. It's going to... Come on. Wait, is he bugged? All right. Bioware. Innovative gameplay here, guys. You know, we're, we're cooking some Ursix, boys. Oh, wait. Well, who is he throwing them at? Hello? Oh, yeah. Cooked Ursix for dinner tonight, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at him burn. Still throwing... Oh, oh, he's mad at the Anrosaur. Bro, chill. Alright, we're gonna end this, boy. Gonna hit him with that fat mortar. Ground the pound, and he's not dead yet. There we go. That's a dead or six. Well, technically a fried or six after how much flamethrower we put into him. All right, guys, I don't have time to play this character anymore. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments below. Overall, first impressions of Colossus, better than Ranger, worse than Storm and Interceptor, depending on the situation. Storm's all around a better solo javelin. Interceptor will always be my favorite, and Ranger is not nearly as good at crowd control or tanking damage as Colossus. We didn't get to try out any of his special abilities like the shield or anything, but don't worry, there will be a lot more guides and gameplay to come. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any video requests or guide requests, let me know down there. I'm making a list of every single one you guys are requesting, and I plan on making all of them. Alright. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, naysayers, how y'all been? It's been a minute, but I'm in it to win, and I ain't finished. This is the starting gun, and I'm gonna run it to the front and tell them number one, son. This is a rhythmic defibrillation. Innovative old school to thrill the nation. I've been patiently waiting and building steam, but I'm back.